Well, here we go again. <laughs> All right, we uh, threw the car back on, but at least I can stand at this angle and get a profile. We can see it a little better. We fixed up some of our boo-boos. We still got to weld this all up, but don't, I don't really care. This was a huge screw up, but ah, you know what? In the end, it's not a big deal. It's steel. We can easily fix it. As you can see, I like royally bone this stuff up and uh, well, we just cut it out, moved it, just weld it. I don't know. It's not a big deal. We kind of just deal with it one piece at a time. I still got to do a few more braces back here, or I want to do some. Uh, but I don't know what we're doing with the roof just yet. So, my plan for now is essentially what I want to do actually is chop the door frame. I know it sounds kind of dumb, but I'm trying to get uh, like a different profile out of here. I don't want this to be square. We got the back window. My goal here is to chop it. I don't know. I'm going to say three inches. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we're going to chop this frame come down. I don't want this side of the window to be square. I want this to have some kind of a, a teardrop, kind of like kind of a sweep to it. Basically what I feel I got to do is get this window oriented the way I want, which will then give me uh, an idea what, how much to shrink this and what I'm going to do. Basically I want to make the back of the cab fit the door, uh, the window opening. So, I guess the first thing to do is uh, we're just going to cut these things off and then, uh, like, oh man, it's going to totally change the way everything, <laughs> just thinking it through right now, I'm really going to screw stuff up here. Oh well, whatever, not a big deal. Oh, but some of this might work really well into this flowy thing. <laughs> All right. But what we do have, because these doors are weird, they got this, this, this big lumpy bit. But we do have two other doors. Uh, somewhere I got another door. I have this door anyways. So anywho, we got this. It's, oh yeah, this is totally got some weird stuff. I don't know. We're going to make something up. I don't know if I'm going to use chunks of that door. Or I'll use chunks of the rear door. Like this stuff. I don't really know. We're, all I know is we're going to be cutting stuff and it's going to involve a lot of welding. <laughs> uh, part of me is almost thinking now though, like uh, some of this, see how this has a nice transition now that I think about it. If I use the chunk of this into the door, I think it's really going to give me the, the look that I want. And then maybe then I can use this line because the door will be here, but if I use that line, it'll finish. Like when we move and booger a lot of this stuff up, it might give the door a nice look. And then it'll give me an idea how far up to move my cab to get that, my overall look. I don't know. Anyways, I have babbled more than long enough on this right now. I think uh, we just got to start cutting some junk and then uh, we'll uh, see where we get. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get at her.
Well, I'm pretty struggling a little bit with this thing because this is not normally how I chop a car or anything, so this is a little out of my norm. But I am slowly getting what my vision kind of is. I don't think I like it because I think it should be a little more square. It's a little too round. Um, but I'm not sure. I got to fidget with it some more here. Maybe I got to cut this, bring this in. I realized I got to cut this side for that side, that side for this side, or vice versa. I could maybe use this chunk. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I cut the different on the other side and used it over here. So I gotta cut some more out of there to add to this, but anyways, you can kind of see what I'm trying to go for. So then you can see why the roof will have to scooch uh, a bunch. And then like this whole profile of the car is gonna change. Like this is just gonna try to flowy into the trunk section. It's kind of my goal. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. But yeah, I'm really weird because usually I'm fitting the door to the roof. So the way I'm doing it now is like I got to fit the roof to the door, which is kind of interesting for me. <laughs> I'm not used to doing it that way. Anyways, like when this goes, eventually when this goes down, this line will be okay up to so point on the door. And then after that, it's like this line I got to take, bring over here to get it to flow down and then we'll have the roof kind of doing its thing behind there. So by the looks of this right now, it seems like I'm taking a lot out of the roof. Like I'm thinking the roof's gonna flow over here somewhere, which whatever, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> but I'm not sure yet. Uh, like I say, this, this seems okay, but it's like I feel it should be more square if that makes sense. Like I think if it was like, that I like that look a little better. I guess I could do that. We just do some high cuts or do something. It's just it's hard to figure out that transition, but maybe I take some of this off and use this elbow in here to make this starting to come down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking out loud. That said, I'm uh, gonna sit and scratch my head for a while. Uh, I'm gonna go in, grab a bite to eat, and uh, decide <laughs> what I'm how I'm going to boats to this year. I think I'm going on the right track, but yeah, we won't know. You gotta keep, keep farting along till I, stuff just works, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, anyways, uh, yeah. We'll just kinda keep plugging away here. I think I know what I want. I don't mind this look. It's cool. We're gonna make this part work. I am gonna struggle if I do that window opening and I don't chop the top. So I grabbed the old roof. I kind of loosely have a game plan here. What I'm gonna do is this arch on my junk roof. I'm gonna use it in here because we need this structure inside. So I'm thinking if I graft the two, I can kind of make something work with that. Don't know for sure yet. But um, I think my game plan here is I'm going to cut the roof the three inches that I need. Um, I want to cut this pillar out, put it back just to give some strength to the roof. And then we'll graft in the junky A pillar to make this transition. And then we can kind of fill or do something with it. I don't know for sure yet. So kind of odd, basically what happens when you chop the roof, this goes down three inches, but it also comes ahead. So we'll have to cut this pillar, but I'll probably cut it high and it can sit over here for now. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's not like I have to put it back in the original position like I normally would. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably just cut it up here. Now that I think about it, cause this is gonna move and it might end up like over here or it'll sit here. I don't know for sure yet. Uh, I just don't know if I want to cut it through the roof. <laughs> That's normally what I have to do, but seeing how this is already loose back here, I might just do a uh, rinky-dink cut into here, and then we'll leave this. Mm, is that going to work for us? Probably not. Man, eh? Just dumb of me to weld this up when I can't use it. 
Oh man. Oh, I guess I'll, I'm gonna cut and brush my welds that I spent all that time doing. I'll bust that so I can leave this roof loose for now, because then we can think about it later. For now, I wanna focus on the B-pillar forward. Get this fitting well. I don't care about this part of the roof right now. So, yeah, kind of the game plan. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this door apart, cut it similar to the other side, not worried about the choppy part yet, but uh, we'll do that. We're gonna knock the roof loose. There should be enough there to hold it in place for now. We're gonna start working on the front section, get it chopped, and then hopefully we can, this will start making some sense here when we start uh, building these up on both sides because we'll have the roof, like basically I'll be trying to make the door fit the roof at that point. That's my plan. Anyways, I guess we'll uh, just get going here. We're gonna start our roof chop. <laughs>
Well, that definitely changes the look of that car, eh? That has got such a lean post hold key, eh? Yeah, it's still, I like it. I think it depends on if this roof line kind of works with the top. That'll make the biggest difference, I think. Because right now, <laughs> it looks pretty small and squished. For a three inch chop, boy, that's a, uh, that's, well, I should be fair here. I did a three inch chop in the front. The back, you can see like the roof went up and then down. So we kind of, I have no idea how much I'll be chopping out of the back at the time, by the time I'm done this. But uh, yeah, because otherwise this window would have went up and then came down and then, I don't know, I just wanted it to be pretty level straight across. So essentially this is gonna get a wedge chop, but it's gonna kind of keep it just square. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah, we got this side. It's just super loosely tacked in with the rough shape that I'm hoping to have here. Uh, same with this side. This is not terrible. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing all in here yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. I think what I can do for now is I can bust this off. We can break all these goofy little tacks, the things I put in there to try to give me a little bit of rigid roof. And then we can kind of like lay this scoot this to where I feel looks okay, but I'm thinking it's gonna have to lay down a bunch. I think it'll look right, just with the flow of the car, because we kind of want it to flow and just flow into the trunk. Uh, at least that's my plan. <laughs> I'm hoping anyways. Uh, anyways, I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'll, we'll, we'll bust all these welds and uh, then we can cut the roof loose and we'll try to somehow morph it into the other one. This drip line is so close. I might cut this free, this little bead line in here to reuse, or I'll make a new one. I don't know yet, but for now, because who cares, we'll just cut an inch above it or so, and then see if we can kind of use it to one side or the other side or not use it. I don't know yet. We, uh, yeah, we've got to totally screw this car up before we can fix it. <laughs> uh. Poor thing. This thing's just always getting a rough life here so far. Okay. Yeah, like I said, let's cut some stuff.
I like where it's going. Right, bud? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think it needs? Think it needs anything? <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, like the roof line seems good. I am certain we're gonna have to chop the back window because it looks too big. Like, I feel this is too long and people are probably gonna agree. And I'm trying to do the, try to mirror forward, but not a uh, Zephyr. Cause usually the Zephyrs, they're like super, super long. This went ahead a lot more than I thought, but to get this to look right with that, I think I had to do something like that. So anyways, with that said, now the window's too big. Uh, I don't know if I want this to stand up more. I think this has a good flow. Like this will flow and then it'll flow nice into the trunk. Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is like just button up the roof a bit. Like get it, at least everything tacked together better. And then I can decide whether I like this or not because there's nothing stopping me from cutting this and shortening this, this butt end up a little more if I feel it's too, uh, too big, too long. Like it, it feels kind of long. I don't know, like this here should, to me, should be something like that. So, you know, the whole like, oh, I'm gonna chop the roof and I'm gonna need about four inches out. I didn't, I guess I meant I'm gonna take it out of the body. <laughs> but that should fix up a bunch of lines and things like that. I'm feeling as I'm doing this, this body line might end up being able to use yet. I could maybe bring this up so we can transition this, this body line. Hmm. <laughs> Can we? Nah, I don't know. Man, really would like that. But I guess at the, the rate the car's going, the fact that it would just do a little joint flow into there doesn't matter anymore in my eyes. Because like I say, when you look at it from here, now the window's too big. Because my front window's like, I don't know, like eight inches and this one's a wee bit bigger than that one. So, yeah. Hmm. But, well, this side be screwed up even more, so my cuts aren't very nice here. <laughs> I think once this fills in, guys, you folks will see what I'm talking about. Like, it's just gonna have this nice flow, and then once we figure out that the drip rail going in, it's gonna be nice. It's just right now, that trunk just seems too big and far out there. If you look at a Zephyr, this is kinda close to a Zephyr, but I think the wheel arch should be closer to the roof line. So, eh, that's not a big deal though. That's easy to fix. <laughs> uh, okie doke. So, hmm. What do we do first? I guess we'll do a couple tacks. Like we're gonna have to make a whole lot of panels. See, I can't do too much in the back here because I need this section of the thing to make a lot of this all work. So, um, I think we're just gonna keep like boogering things together till it makes sense. I'm not gonna make any new, well, I will. We have some bits there, but I don't even know how much of that stuff is usable. Hmm. Hey bud, made a whole lot of work for myself, didn't I? <laughs> hey. Well, I guess all we can do is just keep, keep tacking away here. Plugging away, one piece at a time. We'll figure it out and we can just once I get it like looking in overall good shape, we can cut it apart again, but just make things better. Good. Because right now we're just in the, the puzzling and piecing things together phase. I have a funny feeling though, I'm gonna, for myself, I'm gonna wanna bring this in, but I don't know yet. I guess we'll see. Just feel that's gonna happen. <laughs> Anyways, we got the roof is like semi-tacked. I want to get that a little more buttoned up. We might, uh, I just don't know how this is going to flow. I almost feel like we're going to have to cut this, bring this out so this is a little more normal. Like we might cut down the straight bit and then we can widen the uh, roof section a bit because it just doesn't want to stretch out to all the parts of the car like it's supposed to. Oh well, no big deal. Hey, it's only metal. Because uh, then I think some of this would flow okay. And I wouldn't have to make all this stuff. That would just suck. 
we got our initial shape that we want in here so we'll reuse it we just got to protrude it out a little bit more I think get this to about there hmm. I don't know it's hard to say because this might actually be right for that ah. I hate to cut that, but I might be to the point I got to actually cut this thing off. Do a slit down here. And yeah, I guess we just go straight. Cut that. Then we can kind of scoot this ahead. And then we can see how that roof fits to the trunk. Then we know that we're kind of in the ballpark. I think there's just way more stuff needs to be sliced up here. But this is okay. All right. Well, enough babbling to myself, but, oh, yeah, I forgot. See, I brought that one in. I did show you that, but you can see how it's got the structure, so I don't know. I might cut this apart and see if we can use some of it to make the upper part of this door. Maybe we'll do that first. We'll try to make it to do this, see if we can make this jam in here. From there, we can start moving this stuff. Oh, also, what did I do with those other pieces? Uh, let's see if these will work at all. I cut these out because I got this body line on it. So I was kind of hoping somehow we could re-adapt this to work and flow with the... That's kind of okay. I don't know if that's what I want though. Hmm. Oh well. What do we do first? What do we do first? I guess... I'm going to cut this and just to see if this piece is usable up to here. I think that's the plan right now. This stuff, I should start tacking some. Eh. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm going to cut this a little bit just because I want to see if it works with the back part. If it does, that is great. And then we'll proceed to split the roof and try to get it to, to just like basically fill in this area. It's kind of the plan. We can always use some scabby pieces that we cut out to do these uh, these upper bits. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Right. Well, look at that. <laughs> Buddy was over. We kind of pulled out my scissor lift. So I got that working on there instead of the hoist. It's nicer to walk around and do stuff. Anyways, we put some paper on. We kind of mirrored out what my vision is out of this thing. So, because I know a lot of people when I do something, I, yeah, I'm just doing this and that. People visually don't get what I'm going to, 
<laughs> don't get what I'm going for. But anyways, so he filled in some paper on there. We filled the back. You kind of sort of get an overall feel how it's going to go. Here's where I have my dilemma right now. Well, I know I'm just going to change it, but see the roof originally was over here, which then lined up with this wheel arch. Now that we've moved the cab everything forward, depending on the build, this particular car doesn't have this flowy flow and I don't want it to do that. I want it to be a little more harsh behind the cab. So that makes this thing kind of out of proportion. So I don't know if I'm going to move this in like six inches. I feel that arch should be lined up with the back. I think originally it was probably about there or something like that. Well, if you think about it, this is about where the rib came up. So if you do your imaginary line, there was quite a bit of this over. I think this will still look okay if I took this arch and uh, brought it up to about here. So whatever, we're gonna say, we'll make up six inches say, ahead. And I think that'll give the car the same proportion that it had when it was a five window or close to it. It won't look such of a, a big bump here because now it looks like the wheel's way too far back. So that's a later plan. For now, I think what our plan is gonna be, or at least what I'd like to do is uh, try to finish up Get the outer shell kind of done with the skin. Well, get it on there, like make the piece. And then we can kind of work with the inner structure. Like we said, we were going to go grab chunks off that roof over there and try to use that to follow the door frame. Um, with the door frame, we still have to like, this thing looks the part right now, but it's missing so much of everything. So we're going to have to try to mirror this. Uh, to kind of come down follow this door like what we want in the end is when you look at this you open the door You don't know that this was ever done, right? So with that said even in here we have to build our our inner arch This stuff might go away. I don't know what how I want to build this up For the most part this just went up into the a pillar and then the roof just held everything together. So uh, I don't know if I will add a brace going across the top just to I don't know, for some extra uh, rigid durability to the whole thing, I don't know. In the back, like it's just gonna work, like that's not a big deal. We have this, this will just attach into there. We'll have some way to make a filler panel and kind of finish up the back of the car. I might take some of this stuff, depending where this trunk goes. I really don't think I'm gonna take this much out. Like, you can see the big gap. I don't think I'm gonna move this up to here. I mean, that would make it right, but I, I think I can stretch it out and it would look a little better. We'll add maybe four inches into this, so that gives us this much of the body. I'm thinking this much. I don't know. I don't really know for sure yet. We'll have to eyeball it. It's not a big deal. We just sever off a little bit of stuff there, do a slice, just scooch this ahead. We don't have a frame for the car, so we'll be making the frame anyways, so that works out. I, I think so anyways. Um... When it comes to the back, we can see here, like if we stand here, the car's level, the back window is pretty much, I think it needs a little tweak yet, but it's pretty much dead even with the, uh, the dash. So we're gonna chop and raise, like uh, bring down the top of the window. I kind of want to give it a chop look. Right now it's too tall. Like, so for me, just as a visual, when I stare through here, the back window's higher than the front window, if that makes sense. Even there, the the back window's higher than the side window, so that doesn't work for me. I'm thinking we'll take three inches out, bring this down, and just roll a little bit of roof into it, and then this will give this a nice, a pleasing looking back window. Uh, we might actually move it all down. I don't know yet. I kind of like that it's the same as the windshield, so. I don't know, we'll see. That's, that's easy to do, so I'm not too worried about that. This will be the harder bit. <laughs> Trying to fill that. That'll be a little harder. Well, it is and it isn't. I don't know. Like I say, we just make one piece of time. I think we've got to pull some of this off. And this is going to be a relatively easy little sheet. It'll be just building the bits inside, I guess. But I think that is as far as I am getting today. I'm, uh, I think that's where I'm going to call this one. Uh, I guess tomorrow's plan, we're going to go start tackling into the roof. That'll be, kind of get that as a, 
a solid unit and then we can pull some of the bracing out. We put the bracing in the doors just so the doors still open and close nice because I was worried something was going to happen when the top popped out. I'm not too worried about the, the in and out, like the width wise. That's kind of, well, it's pretty strong. It did have some flex. We did tack a rod up in the front, but yeah, cool. Slowly getting there. We're going to get her yet. But anyways, like I was saying, I want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later. Hey puppy, ready to go inside? Ready to go inside? Do your dang, do your dance. Let's go buddy. <laughs>